Election day tomorrow, there will be some races that will get a whole lot of attention while others do not. Yeah, the hometown project is all about putting spotlights on those races and helping increase voter turnout. So here to talk more about it is founder Peter Sillette. So welcome to the show, Peter. <laughs> Thank Great you so much. You. Yeah. It's so tell us back. more. Tell us more about the hometown project, how it exactly works, because you, you kind of pair famous faces with big races. That's right. Or, sm small, races. or small races. Yeah. So, so we get well-known people to support local candidates in their hometowns. So races that are really important to how people live, but can be decided by just a few hundred votes. If we can get a well-known person to support that local candidate, we can really increase their name recognition and make an impact in the race. Um, and then these, we call them hometown energizers. Mm -hmm. That's our term for the well-known yeah. person. They also often will make uh, nonpartisan get out the vote videos, where, when, and how to vote. Um, and in New Jersey this year, that's met encouraging people to go to vote.nj.gov, okay. things like that. Yeah, Kerry Washington, Ed Norton, Ariana DeBose, Danny DeVito, who, by the way, we have a clip of yes. with one of your videos. Yes. Let's take a look at that. Oh, great. Hello, New Jersey. It's Danny D. I would like you to fill out your vote by mail ballot, please. It's probably at your house. It might be on your kitchen table. It might be in your mailbox, but it's very, very important to fill it out. Make sure you sign it and you send it in. All right, Danny D. So <laughs> are you seeing these videos have an impact on actually getting some of the numbers to go up? Absolutely. Um, we did a study and a survey in Virginia for our work in 2021. Um, and uh, the voters that had received our videos were 8.6% more likely to recall the name of their local candidate. Um, and um, that's a really, again, an important number because, again, it's all about voting down ballot, making sure that people know the names of their local candidate. When there's a, a big Senate race, yeah. there's tons of money going everywhere and tons of ads, and everybody knows the candidates by the time the election comes around. But in these local races, that's not the case. Yeah, who are some of your energizers this year? Uh, well, in New Jersey, we've got Danny, of yeah. course, who's great. Uh, Piper Perabo, Melissa Fumero from the show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, mm -hmm. Dulé okay. Hill. Uh, Thaisa Farmiga from the Gilded Age. And then in Virginia, we're also working again in Virginia. We've got Mark Ruffalo and Connie Britton and Wanda Sykes, Patton Oswald, and a bunch more. Yeah, all of these things matter because your local elections really do mm -hmm. have such an impact. So many times I hear from people who say they go in and they get their ballot and they're like, I don't really know who this person is, but I'm going to vote for them anyway just by party. That's right. Um, so how do you see this playing out in a place like New York City where voter turnout is historically low on off years? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, in New York City, it's, a, it's an interesting situation because um, we are such a democratic yeah. town so that by the time it gets to the general election for these city council races, so many of them are kind of essentially already decided. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that it's not super important for everyone to get out and vote for their city council candidate. Well, can there be something to be said for that too, right? Because you think because it's such a democratic city that your candidate may win. Yes. But if you don't go and vote... That's right. What we like what? to say in local races, your vote is louder, meaning there are fewer people voting. So you're really making an impact on who's going to win in, in that situation. Mm -hmm. So in the state legislature, for example, in New Jersey, they, people are about to get their anchor check, right? Or if they haven't gotten it yet, they will. And that's something that's passed by the state legislature. Mm -hmm. And so when the New Jersey Democrats are constantly saying, you know, vote for all three, which means that you have a state Senate candidate, and those state Senate candidates, just because they're a little bit higher on the ballot, will receive sometimes 10% more votes hmm. just because people don't go all the way down. Before we let you go, we yeah. want you to tell us a just a little bit more. You mentioned it, uh, your partnership with the New Jersey Democratic Caucus. Yes. Can you talk about that? Well, that's been really great. Uh, it's our first year working in New Jersey, and I've really wanted to work in New Jersey for a long time. Um, so we're supporting uh, candidates in three of their highest priority districts. Um, LD11, which is uh, Monmouth County, Ben Gopal, um, and uh, his uh, assembly candidates, Margie Donlin, Luann, Peter Paul. Um, LD38, which is uh, in Bergen County, Joe Lagana, Lisa Swain, and Chris Tully. And then in LD16, Andrew Zwicker and Roy Fryman and Michelle Drulis. That's in the kind of uh, Princeton, South Brunswick area. So these are candidates, um, all the Senate candidates are incumbents, mm -hmm. but these are candidates that also, because the districts have shifted slightly, um, they're going to be really tight races and really interesting to watch. So yeah. we were able to get 
well-known people from those areas That's to great. support them. And those videos are playing and banner ads and stuff are yeah. playing within those districts. Yeah, it's so important to know that complacency can happen because of redistricting too in certain areas. People forget that the lines are redrawn and that can shift how a race goes. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, it's Peter. great work that you do. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, thank Peter. You. Thank you.